Hi, my name's Kate Grenville. A few years ago, I wrote a book called The Secret River, which is based on a convict ancestor of mine. And while I was doing the research for that book, I came across another story which absolutely galvanised me, and I thought, this has got to be my next story. Well, I've now written that book. It's called The Lieutenant. The main character is a young soldier who comes out with the First Fleet, and he befriends the local Aboriginal people. His main relationship is with a young woman called Pachigarang, and she teaches him the language. Now, Dawes was a bit of a scholar, and he kept two notebooks in which he wrote down the conversation he was learning. And he didn't just keep word lists, he wrote down entire lengths of dialogue between himself and this young woman. Between the lines of what he recorded emerges a relationship of the most extraordinary emotional power. It's respectful, it's affectionate, and it's playful. It's like no other black-white relationship that was recorded at that time. It's absolutely spectacular. Some, some time after he met Pachigarang, uh, Dawes was sent out on an expedition which was supposed to kill six Aboriginal men, cut their heads off and bring their heads back in bags. So what I had here was whatever, what every novelist dreams of, a story with an amazing emotional power, this relationship between Dawes and Pachigarang, which I might add is a non-sexual relationship. We think she was probably 12 or 13. It was definitely not a sexual relationship. So on the one hand, there was this powerful emotional relationship. On the other hand, there was this drama of a man faced with a life-changing dilemma, a choice that he had to make. My last book, The Secret River, was also about a man who makes a choice. And in many ways, this book is the mirror image of that book. I didn't quite intend it that way, but now that I've written it, I can see that I've sort of written two sides of the story. William Thornhill in The Secret River makes a decision which results in the conversation coming to an end. And William Dawes makes a decision that is a bit different. The dialogue continues, at least in the form of the notebooks. To me, that makes this book not just, a, not just another historical novel. Um, you know, in 2008, post Kevin Rudd's apology, we're entering another kind of Australia and another kind of possibility for dialogue between black and white is opening up, I think, for the first time uh, in 200 years, for the first time since Dawes had his conversations with Pachigarin. So in a way, um, I'm thinking that his story tells us something that might be useful for us going into the future.